here we go on how to make a um, pumpkin teapot. Start off with some sweet potato clay. Actually, that's the color I use anyway, and it darkens somewhat when you bake it, which is fine. And you're gonna make, you know, take your clay and condition it and make a nice little ball. This is your pumpkin. Squish it down. You want the top and the bottom flat. And you're gonna take, you're gonna need a, um, like a straight something or another. I have my straight one here, and you're making lines all around it. A um, tiger. Uh, okay. You could put little half ones on there too. Take another little piece of clay and roll it in your hand, and then in the palm of your hand, make like a little bowl, and use your other thumb and squish down, and just kind of roll it around. And this one's too small, but you're gonna have. Uh, you know, squish it down and then you'll have your little lid and this is your little lid and if you have fingerprints on it which you probably will or handprints on it use kind of a stiff brush to get your fingerprints out of clay and that'll work let's smooth it out anyway make your lines all the way around make yourself a nice little hole right there in the center mom There's your lid. Mom. Take a little please. piece of brown clay. Please. 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 You want me to roll it. And you roll it into a ball, and then you roll it kind of pointed on one end. You're going to make it kind of look like um, a piece of corn, almost. Anyway, you make it pointed on one end, and you flatten the top, so that way you have a little point. Here's the one that I made earlier. And you stick that little guy right in there, and you want to kind of make it sideways to make it look more authentic look. and flatten the top. And you might even look. squish it; doesn't have to be completely look. round. See, then you're gonna take a teeny tiny green snake. And then stick it right on there. And that should stay pretty good. You shouldn't have to thick snake. This one's quite thick compared to um, the this little thin one will be the thin one and this thick one will be the um, handle. So we're going to take the thick one and you're going to kind of roll the end into a, a little bit of a point and you're going to start rolling it in on itself. So you have your little S, just like this. So take your, your little guy here, and you're going to just barely tuck the ends here. And that, you don't want that on the lid necessarily. So there is our handle. And kind of even it up with your fingers. I also have... Painting. Yes, you can paint that. I have my little, my tiny little worm for the front part here. And then you take your little pumpkin, stick it on there any old way. Yeah, you can paint your pumpkin up here. Now, now we're gonna make. I want to paint the pixel, please. After you clean up all your clay, then you can paint a picture. Oh, right. so. um, clean we're doing the clay. spout. Oh, take a little piece of clay and you're gonna warm it up, roll it so that way the bottom is kind of fat and the top. Kind of thin. Now I like to take a razor blade and hold it at an angle and go like that for my little spout. And you gotta kind of use your finger, the end of your finger, like the, like it's the pumpkin, and then you bend this up and kind of squish it. 
Now really a teapot would not be curved over like this, but it's a pumpkin, so I do what I want. Because it would, you know, flow out the wrong spot. I dropped my teapot. Sorry. 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 It'll live. So then go back and look. Try and smooth it. the cake. See? Ooh. That's nice, Catherine. It's got the cake. Yes. That is very nice, actually. When it comes out, if you want it all shiny, and also it helps to um keep all the little pieces from breaking so easy i use my triple thick glaze and if you check my youtube channel you can find a link for somebody who sells it online but um any triple thick glaze it will work I, I would think it doesn't have to be krylon you just cover it up brush it you know brush it all on there after it's baked and cooled and then let it dry and you're all done well, there you go